B, you know, he he's there, he took his shirt off, shirt his popcorn. I was like, all right, you know what I'm saying? That was cool or whatever, you know, he started doing his shit, you know, doing his Raz B shit, you know what I'm saying? His B2K shit, and then I was like, all right, cool. I'm just jamming, I'm like, yeah, feeling myself, feeling myself, these niggas ain't feeling myself. I'm feeling myself, like, for real, feeling myself. I don't even know, like, I was feeling that good. Me, I'm the type of person, I be having flashbacks. I had a flashback of fucking Raz B running up on me. Yo, 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 what's going on everybody? It's your boy right here, Mills. I'm here back with another video. I need you to do me a big solid favor. Click this video, like this video, subscribe to my channel. Um, I will be reviewing, this is episode 10 of Bad Boys Club, titled Party's Over. Before I jump in this video, my last video that I did, I want to thank um, even the haters that was coming. All right, let me address this real fast. So, you know, I've been kind of coming on screen here and there. You know, I'm still trying to get used to this YouTube thing. And it was a lot of, I got a lot of love and support. Thank you for everybody who's been viewing, you know, showing love and subscribing and, you know, but it's been a lot of trolls, and I guess that comes with YouTube or just in life. People are always going to hate on you and say negative things. I'm not really phased by it, but I will say this: if you come on, if you come up on this page underneath my comments, underneath my videos, and you comment that and stuff, negative stuff, I'm going to block you because I had to block over like 15 people. Like, of course, I'm still new to this. I'm still trying to, you know, find me a nice place to film and you know, just get this channel up and running. So. For all the people that are saying negative things, you know, coming coming for my, you know, appearance and stuff. Like last week, you know, I took my hair out and stuff like that. You know, I have gray hair, y'all. So it wasn't lint in my beard and all that stuff. Like I have gray hair, you know, and I took my hair out because I was about to get it done. I had just got off of work. So people trying to come for me and all that stuff. I'm just not going to go back and forth. I'm just going to block you. You know, I had a lot of negative people like just coming. I'm like, yo, I ain't going to miss me with the BS. So, but thank you to the ones that's been commenting, showing me love, wanting me to continue to do the video reviews. And like I said, once I'm, I'm going to keep working on my craft, keep building it up and keep trying to do the best I could do. It's going to take time, but I'm, I'm dedicated to working on my channel. So I got that out the way. So let's jump right into this episode. This episode really wasn't about much. This is the Rasby versus um, Jonathan show, if you ask me. So we left off where... Jonathan knocks the hell out of Raz B. I ain't never seen nobody get hit like that. I mean, I seen people get hit and they fall asleep. <laughs> but Jonathan really knocked Raz B. Like, he hit him one good punch and he just fell. I'm like, damn. <laughs> like, damn. That punch is lethal. And you hear Prince, I guess Raz B realized he got knocked out. So he, he has a weapon. Prince going off. Oh, he screamed. Oh, he got a knife. He got a knife. Prince scared. Prince is scared. <laughs> the way he was going on, <laughs> it's not funny though. You know, um, Rasby and you know Jonathan, they going at it. You know, Jonathan, like I knocked you out. You know, you know, just going off. You know what I'm saying? And I'm like, <laughs> Rasby don't learn how to be just be, just be quiet. And Rasby's confessional though, he talking about, oh, you know, nobody put their hands on Rasby. I have everybody in here touched. I'm like, okay. I'm like, you keep talking about nobody. You keep talking about you Raz B, but that don't even mean nothing because Jonathan don't knock your face in. You sitting up here going off and your face knotted up and everything because you came up in there with a knife. So all the boys, they mad. You know, they like, nah, he on some BS. He on some BS. And I, like I said, I really want to know what happened to set Raz B off because they didn't, like I said last week, they didn't show what led up to Raz B going off. Something must have happened. But like I said, once Adonis threatened him, it triggered him. And like I said, Raz B is not all the way there. I know people like to clown on him saying he got mental issues and he was probably using the pow off the powder donuts. But something really triggered Raz B to be going off like that. At first, I'm thinking it was like just for theatrics. It was just for, for the show. But you could clearly tell in this episode that he's a little bit off. And so that's on that, you know. So as the boys getting in, the, you know, they getting ready to do, 
I guess their little their little song, Raz B outside, he's talking to security. He like, oh, you let that happen to me. You let me hit you let me get hit twice. <laughs> you let me get hit twice. Security guard like, listen, my bad, bro. Like, ain't even like that. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, Raz B, you ain't got nobody to blame but yourself. You know, carry on goes out there to see what happened. He all and on um, carry on's face yelling. You see my face? You see my face? <laughs> oh man, yo, Rasby had me tripping this episode, yo. So he just going off. I don't know how carry on is. You know, carry on good because wouldn't have been me. You're not about to be yelling in my face. You know what I'm saying? your hot breath all in my face and you mad because you the one was running off at the mouth and got punched in your face and you mad and then it was just like rasby kept doing a lot of this jekyll hard thing like one minute he'll be cool he'll be calm because he was like oh well i guess maybe you know i did kind of egg it on you know what i'm saying and then he'll just flip out the next moment yeah carry on too good because i'd have been left that nigga i ain't got time like you're not about to be in my face blowing hot breath in my face because you mad because you started all this you know what i'm saying so carry on just like yo calm down calm down like you good you know what i'm saying he's still going off like i said carry on you i just would have left you know so you know carry on tell him to get in the car you know he making sure they tell the dude uh, you know make sure he good don't give him nothing to drink <laughs> raz be like yeah yeah he just going off like i said i'll depict yo anyway so the boys in the studio they start doing this this song you know Prince is up first. You know, Prince is really taking it serious. Like I said last week, he, you know, he want that Grammy. He want that BET nomination. The way he taking this, I'm like, okay. But yeah, I do know he's a, he's a recording artist. Check out Prince's music and y'all let me know how it is. You know, so, you know, Jonathan at first, he was hyping them up. You know, it was, it was like, I like when the scenes are like this and they actually having a good time. Like the drama is fun. It's, you know, we all come for the drama, but it be too much at times, but um, you know, so Jonathan egging him on, you know, Prince doing his thing, and then Adonis, Adonis came in. To me, Adonis had the best verse out of everybody, or part, whatever, chorus, whatever. Uh, Adonis killed his part. Everybody else was. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about everybody else's part. Jonathan leaves because he say, you know, he he ain't feeling it. He just ready to leave. So you know, Chef D, you know, he got to make sure his twin. It's okay. He got to, you know, he live up his twin's ass. I'd be so tired of Chef D in this twin mess and then Jonathan calling him his twin. I'm like, okay, you know, so what happened after that? Um, Yeah, so the studio session, I don't know about y'all, but when I was looking at the video, like I was watching the time, it felt like the studio session was like over oh, like 10 to 12 minutes. I'm like, do we really need 12 minutes of this footage? Y'all really ain't must have had nothing to talk about because y'all ain't had nothing to produce. Cause I'm like, it this scene was just long and drawn out. Like I said, the whole episode was really about the fight between Rasby and Jonathan. Like they stretched the mess out of this whole this whole studio session. I'm like, I'm like, whatever. So the boys get the boys get on the bus, they head into the club. Something was said, I don't know what they were talking about. They were talking about, I think Chef D said something about, oh, you know, we need to hit everybody, need to be on it, you know, something like that. I ain't really catch what you were saying. Ara said something about, oh, you know, well, something, I forgot what he said. And Prince being the true hater that he is, always shutting down um, Ara. I'm like, I don't know what it is about Ara that rubs Prince the wrong way, because it seems like every time Ara tries to insert himself, he want to help out and contribute, Prince always shutting him down. He wanted to hop on the song, Prince is shutting him down. I'm like, yo, Prince, you really give me hater vibes. Like, I don't know what it is, but, it, you know, and Banger don't really be faced because he don't really give a damn. And that's why I said Banger is one of my favorites on this show, because it seemed like they really be trying to play my boy Banger. Like, what did he do? Like, why y'all, because if that was Jonathan or anybody else, Prince would not have that energy towards him you know what i'm saying his energy be towards banga and towards ras b you didn't have that energy with mo city you know like when chef d was ready to whoop your ass over your money you sent him the money with no problem but you always acting weird towards um banga like i don't be understanding that so like i said they on the bus ras b gets on the bus and when he gets on the bus he comes suit. He come on. He come on the gang with the gangster lean. He come on ski masked up and off. 
Like he was ready to do something. I'm like, <laughs> so in the midst of that, you know, all the boys now they they really feeling some type of way. Oh, you know, nah, get them off the bus, get them off the bus, nah, nah, nah. And like I said, I agree. Like you know, if somebody pulled, tried to well pulled out a weapon and tried to um stab me, I don't want to be around them neither. So I'm not really faulting the boys for that. And it's really Zeus' fault because Zeus shouldn't have allowed someone that bus. And you know, I'm gonna get into this real fast. Zeus would have been a real lie. If anything would have happened, if Rasby would have uh, stabbed any one of them boys, it would have been a whole problem. This episode really showed me that Zeus is really trifling. They don't care about nothing but the views because clearly you can see that Rasby is not in his right state of mind. And so for y'all to allow him to be around them, to allow him to bring a weapon, he should have been kicked off this episode. Jonathan got kicked off last scene for hitting somebody with a chair. He's bringing a whole knife. If anything would happen, Zeus would have been sued. Zeus don't care about anything but the ratings. You know what I'm saying? So they don't give a damn. Y'all clearly see that this boy is not in his right state of mind. And y'all just allowing him to just do it because y'all just want the footage. Y'all want the ratings. But you know, it is what it is. We, we still watch it. So it is what it is. So, you know, the boy's pissed off. They telling him to leave. You know what I'm saying? They don't want nothing to do with him. Most of like, yo, he going to get touched. He keep playing. He keep playing. Finally, Rasby get off the bus. They head to this club. You know, they all got this section. They turning up. Rasby joins them once again. I'm like, see, <laughs> this boy do not learn his lesson. These boys do not want to be around you, but yet you still keep trying to be around them. You are Rasb. I don't understand. You don't need, first of all, you don't even, I'm, I don't even know why you came on this show, but you're Raz B. Why do you need to be around them? You could have been, had your own section and just did your own thing, but you keep being up under them knowing that they don't rock with you like that. So they trying to keep the peace. You know what I'm saying? They're like, well, you know, right now, you know, we at a club. We need to chill, have a good time. All right. They turn it up. Jonathan um gets to the club he gets there he turning up you know he having a good time he drinking the casamigos you see him just down in the casamigos Raz B tries to shake his hand Jonathan pays him does Raz B feels some type of way <laughs> they partying time going on Jonathan lit he feeling he's feeling that alcohol he he, he had a, a flashback <laughs> of Raz B trying to get him he just oh man Jonathan slaps the hell out of Raz B. He slapped the hell out of him so bad that Raz B don't fell into the crowd. <laughs> I'm like, Jonathan, that was that was wrong because you didn't need to do that. You already knocked him out. Like, why are you hitting him again? Raz B mad. He taking off his shirt. He pissed. Like, you just got him. Like, at this point, Raz B, I'm like, do you know how to dodge it? I mean, you did get attacked out of nowhere, but like, you you a dancer. You know what I'm saying? You tell me you cannot, you you can't move your way. You can't, you can't, you you can't move to the side, Bob. Do something like, come on, man. All them dancing skills, you should be able to move. You know how to move. Stop letting these boys, stop letting that boy, Jonathan, keep hitting you in the face. Like I'm not understanding how you keep getting attacked in your face. I don't. <laughs> like. It's not funny. It's crazy to be. So Rasby going off. He taking off his shirt. He pissed. He he's mad. I've been mad too. You know what I'm saying? But then again, I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have been the one getting slapped like that. But you know, so he going off. He going to lame as Mo City. Mo City. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna need you to come up here real quick. Yeah, you you giving me lame vibes. Like, and it's disappointing because I really thought that you was gonna be like the cool one, you know what I'm saying? Because, you you know, like, I follow him on Instagram, and he seemed like a real chill person. And even when he first came into the season, he was giving real chill vibes. But all this sneaking and, you know, like, you getting real... Like, what was your... And what was the point of you hitting him? Jonathan already took care of him. And then his post-confession, you're going to say, yo, when, the, when I drink liquor, it brings a demon out of me. I'm like, this... <sighs> So, you know, Jonathan leaves, everybody goes outside, they talking, you know, 
Raz be on the mic like I'm B2K. I don't got you know you know who I am. He keep now he keep going off at the mouth. Oh you he keep saying he Raz B. I'm like that don't mean nothing. Yo 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 name don't hold no weight because you're getting slapped. You're getting embarrassed. So your name don't hold no weight. Clearly, you know what I'm saying. You keep saying oh I can get these dudes touched. They outside, Jonathan going off, you know, him and Raz B about to go at it one more time, you know what I'm saying? The whole thing is stupid, like, you know what I'm saying? But like I said, they going at it, you know. And then, the I guess the boys leave. No, in the midst of all that, I want to talk about this real quick. In the midst of that, Jonathan, he goes off on Adonis, and then he pushes on Prince. Prince ain't had it. What the do Prince do? Nothing. I might see, yeah, Prince be picking and choosing his battles, scary ass. You know what I'm saying? And you ain't about to push me because you mad. But you know, ain't nobody, ain't nobody gonna try Jonathan like that. You know. So Raz B, he's going off like the security guard. This this was giving me Jocelyn. <laughs> this was giving me Jocelyn when she was fighting everybody, <laughs> when she just was attacking everybody because he just attacking everybody. He threatening somebody, yo, get the camera out of my face. I'm like, ain't nobody scared of you. You just got, you just, we just watched you get slapped twice. You had attacked three times on the show. One by Chef D, two times by Jonathan. And you got snuck by Moo City. So at this point in time, like, nobody's taking you serious. Like, you know what I'm saying? All these threats you making, that don't even... You're not intimidating nobody. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, what's the problem? He, one minute, he... Like, it was Jekyll High. He was cool, and he wasn't. And he was cool, and he wasn't. I'm like, yo, this, it, this is far more than um, substance abuse. Because like I said, a lot of people think he off the powder donuts. This is this is really mental. Like he's and he I don't I don't know. Like he don't need to be on the show. Like I said, this he should have been kicked off. Clearly he's not in the right state of mind. Something is really triggering this man for him to be acting the way he act. And he should not be in this environment. I don't even know why Raz B, the star that he is, is on this show. Like, what are you doing besides embarrassing yourself? You know what I'm saying? You don't been through a lot. I know you don't been through a lot with Chris Stokes and you know everything that you've been through. And then you get on this show thinking it's going to be something and it's not you, you you know you make you 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 making it worse for yourself you know what i'm saying so he just going off like i said i'm just like boy like then he like i'm done with the show i'm like but then you return next week i don't get it yo i, I wonder on um, how many um, episodes left because this season ain't really hit like that i mean last season they really had no direction like that but it was at least it was way better this season you got a bunch of lames on this season i'm sorry but like i said the only people i'm feeling is jonathan banger and orlando to a certain degree everybody else i ain't really feeling like that so that was pretty much the episode next episode raz b comes back on is they throwing a surprise party for jonathan and everybody pissed off like they ready to attack raz b that's pretty much the episode. Um, like I said, thank y'all for watching my channel, helping me build my channel. Like I said, my video got over 20,000 views. So keep running them up. Thank y'all for the support. I know it's late, y'all. Um, I had just got off a flight. Like, literally, I was delayed. I was trying to do the episode. You know, I watched it at the airport. I came in, took some notes right quick. But um, I was trying to get it done. But it's like 1.30. It's probably almost 2 o'clock right now I'm, I'm doing this. But thank y'all for the support. And like I said, if you come on my page, if you come on my channel and you leaving negative reviews and coming from me, I'm going to simply block you. But thank y'all. Until next time, I'm out. Peace.